Greetings my friends and welcome to a brand new historical battle and today we go to World War One, my friends. This is the Great War mod. Today we are at the Battle of Metzarel and Broncomp for the Battle of Metzarel 1915. I, I've got to be honest with you, I'm not really, I hadn't really heard of this battle until I did some research. I wanted to try and bring another historical battle, something a little bit different to you. I was sort of looking around to see which one, and I found this one. It really was an interesting one. The the, the centre of the battle, this battle here, um, back in 1915, was a cemetery here. The cemetery, which is sort of um, sort of depicted here by this church here, this would be the cemetery, the sort of the centre of the battle here. Um, it was the the French uh, against trying to push the Germans back from the town here, trying to liberate the town. And it really was quite a build-up towards this battle. The first thing the French did was they sent in um, some chasseurs and some marines to effectively um, have a diversionary attack to draw German forces away from the main attack. Now initially these marines, these chasseurs as it were, were meant to take a hill, sort of draw the Germans up to them and then withdraw from the battle to allow them sort of the main force to be moving in uh, sort of unopposed. But what those marines actually did was dig in where they were. Now they meant to be there for a few hours, they actually stayed there for five days holding the Germans back, you know, really doing some significant damage, some significant casualties to the Germans. In fact it got to the point where the the, the, the marines and the defenders of this hill were actually rolling boulders down onto the German forces trying to take it off them. That's how brutal the fighting was. Um, if any of you have sort of read or seen anything about Monte Cassino in World War II, you, you're sort of not not that not that extreme where that the sort of the defenders of the German defenders of Monte Cassino sort of were really be absolutely blasted to pieces there and they still held on for a long time. But we it's that similar sort of scenario where you have defenders sort of digging in on a hill as it were and you're just, you're just throwing everything you can at them and they just cannot be dislodged because they're so sort of determined to hold their ground. Well, that's what we had here. And of course we had um, then the Allies and the French would then sort of built a road, a mile long road. Now today we probably think, what's a mile long road? That's nothing you can build that in, in, in a few days. But you think back in 1915 when they didn't have the technology and, and sort of the, the machinery that we have nowadays to be able to put a road up so quickly. You know, you're talking about men digging a road by hand here um, for almost a mile. And they built that road to be able to sort of bring in the heavy artillery, the, the, the munitions you want for that, the guns, to support this assault. That's how important the assault was. So as you can imagine, it really was in a very, very important assault for the Allies. And on the other hand, you had the Germans as well, trying to hold back what looked like a very, very powerful French attack here to try and sort of punch a hole in the German lines here at Metzeral here. So as you can see, we've got two pretty titanic bat uh, sort of armies fighting here, battling here for this town. Now, I've tried to make the numbers as even as I can. I haven't included artillery in this fight. Now, the reason for that, there was there was artillery in the original fight, in the real sort of fight for Metzaral, but in, I'm not going to include it here because, you know, you, I could put the artillery up here and uh, somehow it's a some artillery up here and it would just absolutely blitz the Germans to pieces. They just wouldn't have a chance. All we have to do then is just simply stroll across the river We've got a river run, running all along this tree line here. What do you see here? These trees are actually straddling this uh, river here that runs all the way along here, as you can see, all the way off, off into the distance. Now, they would just absolutely blast a hole through all the German forces. The, f the French forces would just walk into the town, and that would be the end of it. Um, we don't. Once you capture the town, we don't. The battle is an end. Of course, we've got to destroy all the German forces. But you know, it, it's sort of the similar thing, my friends. You know, we, if we could just blitz them together with howitzers using them as quick lime shells, it would all be over in a matter of minutes. So that wouldn't really be much of a battle. So I really wanted to put something in here. So we we have to fight each other toe to toe, as it were. So we've got to go and dig the Germans out of the the, the, the defending positions here. We have included some rifle grenadiers here. These are assault troops here, as you can see, light infantry troops. Look at that, what a wonderful sight here. They really are men ready, prepared, trained for the assault here. We do have included some old riflery um, regiments here. We've also got some chasseurs up here. We've also got chasseur alpine. These were the original men who defended, took that hill and defended it for a couple of days. As you can see, chasseur alpine here. And we've got one river crossing here. The crossing right by here, we can punch our way through and try and sort of come upon this right flank here and outflank the Germans. But they will have dug in quite well here. It's going to be pretty pretty brutal fight here to get into them. We've got some old rifle, old rifle regiments um, up here. Then we've got some more chasseurs alpine, more rifle infantry. So we've got a pretty standard formation here. We've got general right up here. Look at the general. He's all the way up here. 
then right by here we've got the colonial marines i did put some colonial marines in here hoping to force them in around here and sort of try and flank the germans on this left flank here but the general not staying up here the general right down here i think i wonder if we can put some more chasseur alpine up here with the colonial marines there were marines involved in this fight it's not a hundred percent accurate this fight so if you go to read the battle my friends and we've also got here some civos here i think they were turkish troops here i believe they were turkish troops helping the french i do or no i beg your pardon not turkish troops N um algerian troops i beg your pardon my friends algerian troops helping the, uh, the french here i do apologize um, so we've got some Algerian troops here moving down here. We could always go down the valley and really... So you can see this, the, the deployment zone comes all the way out here. Right out here. We could use the valley and sweep around. But as you can see, look how narrow the valley goes. You just wouldn't... The men would be forced into that there. They would come out on the flank here of the Germans. But that would take a long time to get to them. So we're not going to do that. So we'll use these Zervo here. We'll actually put them up here as well. Um, we'll try and put push punch across here and move on, flank them on the on the left hand flank here but I think we have to keep our formations as they are because there's not much room for deployment here at all but my friends we're going to begin this battle now the battle of Metzaral here and let's see if we can actually push the Germans out of here in the real battle the French eventually removed or disposed of the German defenders there and the Germans actually withdrew taking massive casualties but not after, a f no, not before a few days of quite heavy fighting, which saw a huge amount of, of casualties. Which World War, World War One is absolutely notorious for. The casualty rate on World War One was breathtaking. It really was. Right, let's take, start this battle, my friends. Oh, good grief! They've dug in quite well here on this right-hand flank. Come on now, gentlemen, please. I'm going to try and push in here as quickly as we can on this left flank here. Now can we use these troops here to push in on this flank, gentlemen, please? What have they got there? They've got Jaeger. they got nothing on this extreme flank here, which is fine. We're going to try and push our way in here. Right, we need these... Marines and these Alpine here, the Chasseur Alpine, to really push on across this. To head for this crossing here. We've got the main bulk of our force. I think we'll split them into two two sections here. We will take. Are they going to try and push in and try and take this town? Because if they are. We can't cross the river. The river divides the, the two armies here. We can cross into here with these going to try and push into the town as quickly as you can here. Now these are the rifle grenadiers, they're actually going to go in quickly ahead of the main group here and try and secure that front line building there to try and secure it. Come on gentlemen, please. Oui monsieur. Germans doing here. They're moving into the town quite briskly here. This is going to be a pretty brutal fight right here. down onto this plane here. Let's get these assault grenadiers in here. Damn it, they're going to reach the buildings before us. Then we go across. This could be a real brutal street fight here. This could be a real slugging match here. Germans are already in the streets here. Get in there, gentlemen. Get in there. We have taken the building, sir. Oh, 
Oh, street fighting already happening. Good grief. That's what the Lindians and Sovereigns can do. Look at that, they're using grenades here to take them out. Look at that. some lag here. That is pretty horrific lag right there. I do apologise my friends for that. Can we just fast forward past that I wonder? Whoa, that lag is absolutely atrocious. Oh no wonder, look at that. Still holding this building here, look at that. What a fight. Come on out, gentlemen. Ah! Well, I know you're tired, gentlemen. 
gotta get up on these cliffs here. What a fight this is for this town here. because of the, the, the buildings here. Oh, the lag is horrendous. I really do apologise for that. As you can see here, look, the main fighting here is going on in the town here. This Mr. building Al. has fallen to the enemy! God, we've lost one of the buildings here. Oh, that's not your retreat. thrown in the old, the old, the real heavy, the elite regiment they have here, the Jews, and then they are given to the Jews, at least three or four reg elite regiments over it, they've got the infinity as one of the Jews. I think it is a fight in here, house to house. Good general, sir. Good general, look at that. Let me stop it. Three regiments here, three regiments here fighting in this house for this. I would have taken a real beating as well. Let's not make any illusions with the uh, here as well. Now the general is dead, will we now be able to push on here? I try to stand up. Cut off the next one. Go on in this. The next one's still fighting here in this in this village. General is dead. Retreating. Now we're firing down into the looks oh, look they can try and take it as office now. Hold gentlemen, hold. The entire unit is dead, sir. No, we've lost them. We've lost the unit. Okay. They fought bravely, my friends, of course. They fought bravely to the very end. Oh they god, they're dead. They, they, the building here. That was pivotal though, that was absolutely pivotal. So I'm going there in the song. Definitely. So 
want it. Our men are running, sir! I've lost this building as well, they've just... Trying to pull us out of here now. Gentlemen, run. Victory, sir, yes. is soon to be yours. The final clearing of the British here. We've done it, my friends. Come oh, on, gentlemen, clear this building, please. Thanks to these grenadiers here. Look at them. Look at it. It's a killing zone. It's an absolute killing zone here. Look at what a fight this has been here. Surround this town. No one is to leave. 
They want this town to be locked lock at the absolute devastation. You're quite right in here. Good grief. That really was a superb. Look at that. We deployed 3,348. They lost. They had 3,527. They lost 3,320. We lost 1,848. We killed 3,313 men. So in other words, we killed nearly just over just under 200 of our own men. They're not good there, but still, look at that. They killed nearly 400 of their own men. What a fantastic, what a fa fantastic fight that was. I hope you enjoyed that, my friends, because I know I did. That was fantastic. Look at that, right? Well. Look how many they lost. They killed 480 men, the riflery's rifle. The Grenadiers, 452. Which was just 60 men killed 452 men. That is absolutely outstanding there. And the, oh, the rifle infantry here, wonderful to see. It really was. But my friends, that was the Battle of Matsaral here. And I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's been a long time since we've had a historical battle, but I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, if you have, please comment, like, and subscribe. And always keep, keep your comments coming down below, below, my friends. What would you like to see next? Would you like to see another um, uh, Great War mod uh, battle? Would you like to see Empire uh, battle? Would you like to see a, a Napoleon battle? You let me know what you'd like to see. And as soon as I get a chance, my friends, I will definitely put another historical battle up for you. But I'd like to thank you for all your wonderful support. It's been absolutely fantastic, my friends. We really have come a long way together. It's been absolutely fantastic. But I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please comment, like, and subscribe. But until next time, my friends, bye for now.